Good day folks, just an update on my last experiment, if you've seen it on YouTube. It's the, um, I'm using the high voltage pulse module as an isolator for the uh, back EMF self-charging setup. It's a method I tried uh, to try and simplify things. I have a previous video which looks promising. I ran it for 24 hours and um, sure enough after 24 hours it was still stuck at 12.57 uh, so what it did after a few hours it seems like it stabilized between um, 12.56 and 12.57 and um, it uh, the problem is too is I'm still almost done but I'm I'm still unpacking from moving and my good equipment I have some good voltmeters I, I can't find them they're in one of the boxes I still need to get to but the problem is I only found this little meter here which is you know 12 point dot dot right so I'd be curious to see you know the extra which I don't have the fine scale on my meter because over the hours it's very likely that something like with the Bedidi devices could be happening where you know you're getting 12.55 dot you know um, it drops a few points and then comes back I, I wasn't seeing that on my meter I couldn't really notice this time around what's really going on so um, at some point I will replicate the experiment with better equipment but uh, I don't know if it's a disappointing or not but it seems like it's nowhere as it doesn't have as much oomph naturally because the pulse module like I've said before is basically zero current so um, it's not charging up as fast as it did with the back EMF directly into the battery and uh, as you notice I have other videos where I did this experiment where I run a 100 watt load but that's feeding it directly and you know um, it's a different setups with external power supplies and inverters so you're also dealing with much higher currents at once which potentially makes the device you know if you don't know what you're doing more dangerous to operate like for example everyone laughed that I got a little shock the other day from the um, high voltage pulse module which is no big deal because it's zero currents like an electrostatic I knew that so it's not like I was wearing gloves in case I was gonna go across the room but with that said with the previous experiments that actually runs on 100 watt load um, you wouldn't want to get that shock let's just say because you could really you know it could really really be a, a serious health risk so um, with that said I tried to you know not only miniaturize but innovate and get rid of certain parts to try and so with that said the high voltage module is promising but it's not a fast charge anywhere near <coughs> my previous experiments but as far as simplicity and safety this is a step in the right direction so I'd like to continue my research for this so I'm also open to suggestions so I'm telling you basically after several hours it climbed up it stabilized and just stayed there for a day so um, I'm thinking next maybe if I were to build a an additional coil one or two of those big um, two ohm coils and set them all in um, parallel and uh, have diodes for each of them so they're all isolated from each other you know keep the pulse at one percent so it doesn't really huge so it doesn't really notice much of an increase in the load having the the three connected together especially if they're all the same impedance so that would be very important trying to figure out how to keep them exactly you know and uh, with that said, uh, each of them with their own back EMF rectifying diode, which would in turn, you know, charge up the little capacitor that gives the, volt, the high voltage pulse module its low level DC that's able to operate because this works on DC. So that's where the diode and the little capacitor convert the back EMF to a very low DC source. You wouldn't normally be able to do much with this, but you know, like we've previously found out before, this method charges little capacitors at high voltage super quick and the capacitor offers a kind of buffer where it gives you just enough current and joules that you know it triggers a device that would require a few milliamps you know so with that said I'd like to experiment with more coils I need to build them I need to find out more parts and something else to experiment with maybe would be if I would take the high voltage pulse module module like I did with some and use a cap dump with the SCR. Maybe the cap dump mechanism 
along with the high voltage module would speed things up as far as, you know, making the battery react. So, um, yeah, th this is still an experiment. It's in the works. It's promising, but, you know, uh, maybe it's not the answer everyone was looking for. As is, it won't be able to operate your 100 watt loads. Keeps the battery pretty healthy, though, you know, instead of having a battery draining, just run this thing and walk away, and, you know, at least, you know, the battery won't wear out. So anyways, we're getting there, and I'd like to hear more what you think in your comments. See you all.